Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, today I want to do a revisit here on the P51D Mustang by Ishin. Now, I know I've not posted a lot of videos here lately, guys. But one of the more recent ones I did was on this uh, plane, but it's been really busy lately with the moving and stuff that I've not been able to film as much as I would like. But I wanted to revisit this because, as you guys remember, if you were watching my review on this uh, plane, uh, ended up in this tree right here because I was trying to do a stunt with it and I'm just you know with my first time flying it and it ended up in that tree I was able to knock it down of course I've flown it since then and what I found out of course is you know you've got your three gyro settings you guys can hear right now the gyro is helping to stabilize the drone the servos moving and such but you can put it all the way uh, back and that's of course the, the gyros uh, turned off and you don't hear it doing anything so I'm gonna, what I've done since then, I've not flown it in this mode, but I've flown it with the gyro assisted where it's not doing as much. It'd be sort of like horizon mode on a uh, acro capable drone where you've got the gyro there, but it's not doing as much. And what, it, what it, I found out of course, is it's, it's a lot more fun to fly. And it's not hard for me to fly it that way at all. I have enough flight experience with stuff that it's much more acrobatic in this mode. Now it's not as acrobatic as of course with the gyro off, but I'm not quite sure I'm ready to try that mode because just like flying a drone on acro, you got to do everything. You, it is no self uh, self leveling or stabilization at all whenever your gyro is off. But it turns much sharper. It banks and sh much sharper turns, and you can do loops. And I want to show you guys that when the gyro is all the way on, it's trying to keep you under control. You can't do loops. The turns and banks are much wider turns. And that's one reason why I ended up in this tree. You'll see much sharper turns here. So it's really, really fun. I like this. So I would say once you've got a few flights and if you're a noob like me in beginner mode, go to that middle mode. And after a while doing that, we should be able to go to expert mode, but I don't think I'm quite ready for that. So I got it in the middle. Maybe I'll try a few acrobatics because you can't do like a barrel roll um in this mode you have to be in the expert mode with the gyro off to do that but i think you can do that when you do the aero aerobatics button here so let's go ahead and you see we got it ready to go so i'm going to give it some throttle we'll throw it whoa just about yeah and you see look at how quick it turns like that now and there i can do a loop see and you cannot do that in the uh you can't do any of that in the uh, with the gyro completely on in the beginner mode. You've got to be. This is a blast. Just got to make sure you got plenty of open area like this to fly an uh, airplane like this because it's. You know you can't you can't hover it like a drone, and that's the thing with the drones. You end up, you know, I can fly a, especially a GPS drone in the front yard, and you cannot do that with this guy. So yeah, let's bring it around here. So you can see it's got a little wobble there. It's a styrofoam, guys, but look, you can make a pretty quick, pretty quick turn. Very quiet with these. I'm gonna do another loop. Bring it back around here. It almost turns sharper at times than I'm expecting because I'm used to that uh, beginner's mode. I'll show you guys. Let's see. Well, I, I might, I might get mixed up on my switches i don't want to switch it into the into the uh expert mode but uh now i'm forgetting which was what i think all the way forward was i wanted to show you you can't do those uh acrobat uh you can't do as acrobatic as stuff in the full gyro mode just take my word for you watch the first video you can see that i was just doing some basic flying you just not as acrobatic because you got that gyro oh that's so cool this thing is an absolute blast guys look at that <laughs> this is awesome so we can do a big flip there we go or a roll you can take this guy up a little higher too it's pretty cool up a little higher like this just kind of i'm not giving it much throttle here guys it kind of just Ease it around. I got plenty of altitude. Drop it down lower. So what I wanted to do is see if I could do an acrobatic move here. 
Ooh. Let's see if I can do something with the acrobatic here. There, I did a barrel roll. You guys see that? Let's try that again. Well, that bird, see that bird? He does not like the plane. <laughs> He's chasing it. That's awesome. The bird's like, what's this? See the barrel roll? There we go. And it will do that in the stabilized, fully stabilized mode too, guys. I want to try to get that sun glare out of the camera. But that was a big old, I didn't, I don't know if that was a hawk, what that was. Let's see what happens if I give it a acrobat press up. I didn't do anything there. See, it's mostly for barrel rolls. See guys, nice barrel roll there. Can't do that manually in the middle or the fully stabilized mode. Again, like I said, you can definitely do that in the uh, full expert, I guess you could call it acro mode with no stabilization. Yeah, this is, a, this is really, really neat. very responsive I and mean, this is a fully functional airplane it's not it's not using dual motors or something to steer like the first little plane i had this is so much better i would i, I this is one of the best things i've done in rc in years um you know if you're looking to get into a plane or even if you're in drones and you'd like to try this out i mean this thing's like 80 bucks i mean my god you can't to get a fully functional plane that can do acrobats like acrobatics and stuff for that little money I mean I say you know go for it you're not gonna go to your local hobby shop and find a RTF ready to fly styrofoam you know fully functional plane like that for this price you'll probably pay two or three hundred I bet so if you're interested in this this plane that's why I want to do a follow-up video in the first video didn't get that many views but uh, maybe you guys will enjoy this more scene and what it can do uh, the purchase link I'll put in the description to Banggood if you're interested in this plane. I'll include any coupons or codes if I have any, but yeah, this is awesome. And then, you know, it's just a 1S little LiPo. And look, I mean, I don't know how long it'll fly. I don't know how it would warn you because it doesn't have a, any lights or speakers for beeping or anything. I don't think the controller is going to beep at me. It's probably just going to start losing power and then end up coming on down so i'm going to kind of keep it closer to me so that i don't have to walk way out in this field to pick up the plane it feels like it's getting a little sluggish here i'm giving it full throttle so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna try to bring it around here it just kind of landing is always a tough part whoa and then we crashed it usually the front prop will fly off that's by design on impact so it doesn't break your propeller and hopefully we'll find it I'm sure that it flew off so I'll have to look around here it is guys yeah that's the design and they do give you an extra one of these but otherwise this thing is going to be in just fine from that little impact it's not like it's really easy to land this now as you probably noticed I don't have the front landing gear on because when I did lose it up in the tree that day well, I didn't lose it but it got caught up there I, it probably got stuck up in that limb and I don't know where it is it's been mowed here since so it would have been chopped up but a lot of people say they don't fly these with the landing gear you're not gonna really be able to land this thing with those little flimsy wheels they tend to they get held on these screws and they will like literally just fall off and I don't know if you could take off with it or not but all right guys that was really fun I'm gonna, I got another battery it goes this comes with the two battery version I got I'm gonna put the other battery in and take it up and fly it again I just absolutely love doing this so all right, guys, that wraps up the acrobatic or stunt flying, I guess you could call it, but it's not full stunt flying since I didn't have it in full uh, expert mode. But it wraps up this little stunt flying of the P51D Mustang by Ishing. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell so you know when I do upload new videos. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day. The power of the dark side, 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 side.